was like, Mom, ain't no more karate tournaments. I don't want to do that shit no more. Uh, it's cool and all, but this is real. And mind you, I had already lost my first fight. I had lost two fights by now. Um, one was against my best friend in the backyard. And another one was against an older kid out in this neighborhood that we living in now. Older white kid. He had all kind of fucking nigga jokes and all. He wanted to be smart guy, funny guy shit. And I've always been with the shit. Older, bigger or not. Know what I mean? So I took the fight to this nigga. Now we out here in the west suburbs, right? Like I said, we like predominantly white neighborhood, predominantly white school. It's a handful of black people there, and of course we all friends. <laughs> or became friends, you feel me? Um, but I was there in these west suburbs out in Wheaton from like third grade, middle of third grade till middle of seventh grade. Um, in that time, man, I learned a lot about cultural relations. Um, I, and not all positive. No, I mean, I was third grade, man. That's a shorty. What's that? 10 years old or some shit? So at that time is when I started to feel racism. No, I mean, I started to get discriminated against and shit. Like, uh, whether it's not being invited to parties or getting excluded from different shit that's going on, conversations, um, get-togethers, even kids sitting with me at lunch. You feel me? Like, I got to feel that and see that shit at a young age. Um, one, of the, one of the main things that stick out to me the most at, in this area was one of the older kids in the area. It's two things, really. I don't think of, um, one of the older kids in the area went to a party. I want to say he was in middle school, probably high school at this time. But I remember we all knew about him. I mean, he's kind of popular and shit. And like I said, there ain't a lot of black folks. You know what I mean? So we kind of know who who's who. So long story short, buddy goes to this fucking party um, where he's drinking and all kind of activities going on. And somebody spiked his drink with antifreeze. I thought that was odd at that time. I'm like, antifreeze? Like, how the fuck you ain't know? How the fuck you drinking antifreeze? But come to find out, I didn't know that antifreeze got a kind of like a little sweet taste to it or something. Shit, that's why animals die from drinking the shit and whatever. Long story short, they put some fucking antifreeze in, buddy drink, buddy dies, nobody goes to jail for this shit. So that's one instance. Another instance is one of my best friends, man, get kick it off with one of the little white girls in the neighborhood. Anyway, they end up having sex some type of way or another. Her brother finds out, older brother. Um, so she tells older brother to cover her ass that she got raped. Now this is, by this time, I'm probably like sixth grade, seventh grade, right before I move type shit. We're a little bit older at this time. But nonetheless, like I'm a shorty when I'm going through a lot of the shit that grown folks act like ain't going on. You know what I mean? Grown folks now, till today, is acting like, oh, I didn't know this was going on in the black community. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? I, I, so yeah, that was from like third to like seventh grade we was out there. At this time, um, I'm still not competing in karate, but I'm still practicing. Uh, really really into karate one of my uh christmas um gifts was a uh, inside karate magazine subscription so i got inside karate magazine every month for at least three years or so um at this time so i'm learning about different styles and um another one of my christmas gifts was a book called the Tao ji kune do by bruce lee that book changed my whole life. My whole life on martial arts and fighting in general. Um, so, if you if you ever read that book, you know how deep that is. And I'm a youngster, so I, all that shit, I didn't grasp. But the things that I did grasp, I grasped and held on to. And over a course of time, I, what I would do is highlight the shit that I understood and leave the rest of that shit blank. Started off with a few lines here, there, every other page or so. I was understanding, boom. And over the course of time, it was more and more highlights. I'm understanding this shit. Long story short, um, UFC had just came out. UFC came out like 93. So I was like 10 years old. And I'm seeing this UFC karate versus 
karate versus kung fu versus wrestling versus all, like, all these different styles versus each other and i just thought that shit was cool as hell um but it was always on pay-per-view and moms we didn't have a lot of money we live out in the suburbs but we didn't have a lot of money you know what i mean she did that shit for schooling and just better overall neighborhoods you know what i mean not because it was super affordable for us but anyway we out there and I'm seeing this UFC shit and I wanna watch it. I wanna watch it. I wanna watch it so bad, but she would never get it for me. Um Blockbuster was hot at the time. Every weekend we would go to Blockbuster and rent movies to watch as a family. So I found my black ass over in the uh, special interest section where the UFC videos was and Kung Fu and all that, all that different type of shit. Um coming over, Mom, can we get this? Hell no. It's like basically that was for me. And in movie time, that was for all of us. You know what I mean? Like, ain't nobody else want to watch that shit but me. So, um, she would never give me the fucking videos, but I always wanted to see them, and I was always driven towards it. And I was always, I never let that shit up. Never let it up. Like, mom, let me get this. Let me get this. Every time we went, and it was always a no. But one day, haha, <laughs> got you. Hold on, let, let me get this order. I'll be right back. All right, so back to my UFC dreams. Started off, I was like 10 years old. And moms wouldn't order me these fucking videos. And she wouldn't uh, rent the videos for me from Blockbuster. So, I bet her one day. Around this time, she was teaching me and my little sister how to shoot craps. She was a crap shooter. Like, she would go to the riverboat, you know, casinos and shit. And go, like, really do that shit. But street craps and, like, real craps at the casino is different in the sense of... How fast the game is and like all those side bets and shit that's going on so she came back to the crib and wanted to practice the side bet aspect of a roller so she was teaching me and my sister how to play and her boyfriend at the time uh, we were all playing and just using money from around the crib or monopoly money or whatever candy whatever you know what I mean just to get the practice on for her but I'm street nigga raised raised by street niggas you know, feel me i stayed in the streets so i'm thinking i'm about to i'm learning how to shoot crap so i could like really shoot crap you feel me <laughs> so one day i better ass we was playing and like, she had busted me man i'm about to be out but my last role she let me um uh bet like a lot of times me and my sister would end up doing bets that we didn't have no money you feel me so we would do bets like all right she'll go it's gonna be your time to clean the dishes or it's gonna be your time uh next time it's time for me to clean the bathroom you gotta take it type shit so we would be doing shit like betting on chores or whatnot so one day i hit moms up like all right mom if i win this if i win this role you gotta give me the ufc video and if not, I forget what the alternative was. I ain't get no fuck. I'm, I'm thinking I'm about to hit this shit. So I roll, uh, get my point. Roll again, uh, get my point. They all practicing their side bets and shit. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I ain't get my point. I'm just rolling, rolling, rolling while they doing their side bets. Lo and behold, I hit my point. Uh, let's say it was a six. So I hit six. Get that shit. We went to Blockbuster that night. Got two UFC videos. The two of the, uh, I think it was like one and two, or or uh, two and three, whatever they had. It was one of them that was out. I think it was like three or four of them that were out at that time, but um, one of them was rented. So I was able to get the two other ones that wasn't. I forget which ones, but anyway, I know Kim was in it, and so was Hoist. And I got amped up watching that shit. Everybody else is watching this shit horrified. Like, nigga, this, do you like this shit? Like... We martial artists, but they taking this to a whole nother level. They kind of like looking at each other like, God damn, this shit bloody is crazy. This motherfucker crazy as hell. I want to do this shit. And I'm glued. I'm, boy, I tell you, it was like, yo, I never looked back. I was like, mom, ain't no more karate tournaments. I don't want to do that shit no more. Uh, it's cool and all, but this is real. And mind you, I had already lost my first fight. I had lost two fights by now. Um, one was against my best friend in the backyard and another one was against an older kid out in this neighborhood that we living in now, older white kid. He had all kind of fucking nigga jokes and all, he wanted to be smart guy, funny guy and shit. And I've always been with the shit, older, bigger or not, you know what I mean? So I took the fight to this nigga and 
he was just older and smarter, you know what I mean? So I'm like fighting with emotion, uh, throwing all wild and hard and shit. So he was able to block that shit. It just embarrassed me. It embarrassed myself, I should say. So any all in all, um, I was really influenced by this fucking shit. Especially seeing Hoist, little nigga, fucking motherfuckers up. Like big boys, like tearing their ass up. Choking them out, whatnot, woo woo woo. So I fell in love with the shit. Um, never looked back. So that's pretty much how I got involved with the UFC. Like that's how I know what the UFC is. Um, I always told moms like, "Yo, that's what that's what I'm gonna do when I get old. I'm gonna do that." But nobody really believed me because at this time I was always athletic. I'm playing basketball. I'm playing baseball. I'm playing all kind of shit, and I'm good. So I'm like, "Yo, maybe I could be a basketball player. Maybe I'll be a football player." So I'm going through all that bullshit. But always been a martial artist. Always.